Now, normally I play with the modified PS4 controller. I installed this thing from Arsenal Mod to give me two extra buttons under my handles, one for X on the left and one for O on the right. But I've been seeing people play with the evolved control layout lately, and I wanted to see what it was really all about because these people were moving and doing things, you know, easily, just like anybody with you know, an Xbox One Elite controller or a modded PS4 controller like I've been using. So I wanted to check it out. So I jumped into a private match after getting all of my settings correct and decided to see what this is really about. See if I could actually do some real work inside of this game using this evolved control scheme. So hopping into Glitch, you know, the first thing you gotta do is kind of get used to the new buttons. Figure out where things are. Firing and using your tactical and jumping and aiming down sight and a lot of things are going to be in different places. Once you get past the initial button configuration, though, it's kind of like, okay, well, what do I do? What, wh how, sh how do I really test this? So I decided to start by testing out basic wall runs. I put my finger over L1, which is now jump, and I just started doing my standard wall runs, trying to force myself to use L1 to jump instead of using X to jump like I had been previously doing, using that extra button under my controller. And for the most part, it worked, until, as you saw right there, I started having to do reactions and changing and tried to grapple and ended up aiming down sight and then changing my weapon. And, you know, it's it, it got confusing when I had to make those finite adjustments and those last second decisions on what I wanted to do. Like, I was trying to slide hop right there and I ended up aiming down sight and then punching and then shooting and it just got really awkward for a little bit. But I figured with enough practice at this, if I try this out enough, eventually I'll be able to do this. Maybe I'll be able to, to start slide hopping, like, okay, there's there's a pretty good jump there. Maybe I'll actually be able to survive over this pit. You know, if I can do that, then there's a good chance that I'd be able to do fairly well in the rest of the game. Because that pit constantly kills me, even when I'm using a common, the common, the, the familiar control scheme with my more familiar controller. Now, slide hopping, on the other hand, this got a little bit difficult. I mean, I, I got it to work, basically, and it's something that I've been struggling with anyways. But I, I pretty much got it to work. I had my, my controller set up in the standard toggle to crouch, which made it kind of difficult. But I, I started to get it going here. It started to work out okay in the end here. But eventually, I decided that I just don't like the, the, the toggle to crouch. So I decided to switch it back over to the hold to crouch, which is what I've been playing with my modded controller anyways. So now I have to hold down R3 in order to crouch, which is fine. Let's, let's give this a try and see if it works. And almost immediately, I found that it was far more comfortable for me to do hold to crouch instead of toggle crouch. I'm almost instantly getting better slide hops and control out of this than I was before. It only took a few minutes here, just a, a couple of practice rows to really get the hang of it and start being able to strafe around and bunny hop and do everything else that you can really do with the movement system in this game. So with all of that being said and done, I decided to head over into another practice match, but this time against grunts inside of attrition. So the first thing I really wanted to check out wasn't actually my ability to kill grunts, but just some of the basic grapple routes that I like to use in this map. This first one going from this side of the map, hitting these canisters up top and flying across. I wanted to see if I could actually hit the grapple and get the jumps on the slide hops and everything. <laughs> I very clearly screwed that up trying to jump, ended up aiming down sight, but I corrected for it immediately and I ended up making it across anyways. Now this one I was really worried about because I struggle with this one constantly anyways. And I almost forgot to do my crouch once I was up top, but I made it in time and I did pretty good. This was ended up being a pretty good route. Wasn't completely perfect, wasn't as good as I wanted, but I made it across and I made it through. So at this point, it's time to go grunt hunting, just to get a little bit of experience firing and trying to melee, because melee is on a different button at this point, and it's 
a little more difficult for me to hit that. So I'm just, I'm trying to get my, my bearings around me, around this new control scheme with all the slide hopping and firing and jumping and aiming and everything else. And I figure having grunts, which are really easy to kill, is probably going to be the better thing to do, at least to start out with, so that I don't just get completely destroyed up front. And now at some point in this game, I accidentally called down my Titan. And while I was out here trying to get this grapple again, I f figured like, oh, okay, let's go ahead and hop into the Titan and see if I can really notice any differences with the Titan as well. So after correcting for what was actually a really bad grapple and ended up getting that route anyways, which I was pretty happy about, I hop into the Titan here and Nothing is really all that different. I think there are a few minor differences, but in general, the Titan felt pretty standard. Felt like I was able to pretty much do everything that I wanted to do. I think it, it took a couple of tries to figure out which button was what. The defense and the laser shot maybe were different, but I'm not even 100% sure about that because honestly, I get those mixed up when I'm playing with my standard control layout anyways. So the Titan, yeah, okay, not a whole lot to say here. It's pretty much the Titan. I'm sure if I played some LTS, there would be some significant differences and things that I really needed to work on in order to change it up, but this is fine for now. So having tested all of that, I really wanna get into an actual game and see how I can do against other players. So let's head over to some CTF Nitro and see how well we can do there. And we get into deck, which is not my best CTF Nitro map. I mean, honestly, I, I have not done terribly well. If you watched my deck noob video, you saw the mistakes that I'm constantly making trying to get get around in this map and, and aim and all the, the dumb things that I constantly seem to do, like that right there, not seeing the guy, not being ready for it, all that kind of stuff. But, as it turns out, I can actually do pretty darn well with this controller layout in CTF Nitro. Certainly not perfect by any means, but I'm almost doing as well as I would have with my standard controller layout and my modified controller. I mean, frankly, I'm surprised at how well I did. I'm, I'm getting kills, I'm getting flag returns, I'm getting flag caps. I mean, it's this is more than I expected to be able to do in the, the first time playing this. So let's sit back and, and watch a little bit and see just how well I can do in this mode. So I'll show you some of the mistakes and also some of the better things that I did as well. Didn't start out too great, unfortunately. Didn't really do very well in that first half, but in the second half here, that's where I really start picking it up. Get a good kill there. Try to take down the guy that has the flag. Didn't quite hit him. There we go. I'll get that return. That's quite nice. Now let me see if I can get a flag cap. Trying to avoid the enemies that I know are chasing me. Hoping that my teammate will pay attention to them. Ah, oh, no. Didn't quite make it. All right, let's try that again. Let's see if we can get a, a flag cap. I'm gonna try this side again. There's a guy below me, he looked like he was AFK. Managed to get this guy. Got through here, our flag has been taken. Hopefully our teammates will be able to return it so that I can get a cap. There's a guy, let me take care of him. Hasn't been returned yet, should I go after him? I'm not real sure. But the important thing to note here is not necessarily the gameplay but to know that this is being done with the evolved controller layout. I'm using a standard PS4 controller. Nothing special. Ah, there's the flag return and I got the cap. Thank you, teammates, for getting that done for me. This is the standard controller. Oh, watch this here. This is... <laughs> See the teabag there? All right, let's watch that again. Let's watch that again real quick. There it is, the teabag. The accidental teabag. This is the big problem that I have with the evolved controller layout right now. Every time 
I want to melee someone, I end up teabagging. But let's get on with the actual gameplay again. So here comes a guy with a flag. I'm going to get this return. Maybe I'll be able to get another cap here eventually. But I'm overall doing pretty well. Oh, that guy smacked the crap out of me. That was embarrassing. Get a kill. Not quite that, that kill. See, there I am punching. Okay, get that punch. I actually got a melee. I'm starting to get the melees. The melees are difficult, like I was saying, though. And I have noticed, even when I do remember that I have to press circle in order to do a melee, it, there's... Um, a significant delay, at least in terms of gameplay, a significant delay between my actual attempt and the melee animation and, and, and actually happening because I have to take my finger off of the stick and hit circle. Now we're in sudden death overtime here, so I'm trying my best, doing my best to not get killed, hoping my teammates will take out some of these guys. I've got the flag and I'm panicking right now like oh crap there's at least one probably two or three people chasing me I need to move I need to get through here and I don't know what happened why they stopped chasing me or if they just couldn't see me but I pulled off the clutch right there I got three flag caps out of five for the clutch victory at the end right there I'm sorry two flag caps out of five for the clutch victory right there in first place overall on my first time playing against real people using the evolved controller layout. Now, I just happened to get into deck once again in the following map. Like seriously, two times in a row got into deck. And wouldn't you know it, ended up doing amazingly well once again. This ended up being an incredibly short round. It was a total of like four minutes, not even a full half in order for our team to win this. I've done a little bit of editing here just to cut out some of the dead space, but most of the real gameplay is in here because it was such a short round. And in this one, I did end up getting three out of five flag caps for the win. Heard that guy coming behind me, got the fire star, which was pretty amazing for me right there because I'm still struggling to get the fire star, the, the, the tacticals and abilities and all that kind of stuff with this controller layout. So I got really lucky on that one. I remembered which button that it was R1 instead of instead of L1, and I was able to get that. So I ended up getting the enemy flag there totally by accident. I actually really honestly didn't realize that I was about to grab it. And then landing right as the fla our flag gets returned. Another just total accident, which was pretty sweet though. I'll take it. So the first half there got two flag caps. Going for the, the fourth and fifth flag caps. One of my teammates ends up getting a flag cap, which is great. But here I am immediately after a teammate got the, the flag cap going in for that fifth and final. We're just barely into this one. And once again, I show up and the flag is returned right as I'm on top of it, which was just awesome. Three out of five flag caps for the win in that one. If you haven't yet tried out the evolved controller layout and you're wondering how people do all of this crazy high flying stuff, you really do need to check this out. I highly recommend using the evolved control scheme if you're on a standard controller. If you've got a modded controller and you're already used to that, yeah, I mean, it's not going to make a real difference. In fact, it might make things a little more difficult since you know, it changes the location of crouch versus melee. But if you're using a standard PS4 controller, this is the control scheme that you should be using. So get on it. Get yourself switched over to the evolved controller layout and start kicking some butt. So that's it. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching and happy gaming.